Hey my loves and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't said that in forever. This is actually a video that I wanted to film several weeks back, but my camera kind of decided to take a dip into the fountain. But anyways, I didn't have a camera and so now I just got a new one and I'm using it right now. Hopefully you guys like this footage better because I did get a better lens, which I'm gonna film a whole video on that as well. But welcome to my review on the clear slash transparent heel. It was one of the hottest trends in the summer. And although summer's not over yet, we still have a few weeks left. I believe it's officially September 22nd when autumn officially begins. And if you live in Los Angeles like I do, it's honestly like 100 degrees outside. But nonetheless, this is also a really great transitional heel into fall. And so getting right into the review, I have three different transparent heels for you. One of them is the traditional clear, where it's like clear all throughout heel that everybody was wearing by Steve Madden. And then I have two other transparent heels where either the strap or like the ankle foot area is transparent. So there's three different kinds. And so before I get into each of these three heels and let you know the pricing, the sizing, the comfort, I wanna let you know my thoughts on the actual trend. So it's usually either hit or miss. People either love it or they hate it. And my thoughts on the transparent heels that I think it's an excellent way to elongate your legs. So for you girls out there that are like me, I'm between 5'4 and 5'5, five five. if you really wanna have those like slimming, longer leg look, this is definitely the way to go because it gives you that whole like elongated leg, it looks like you're wearing nothing, it's like a barely there feel. And even better is that they're super versatile and go with pretty much any outfit look. So oftentimes when I'm doing outfit looks, I'm sometimes like, that's too much material or it's too, bulky or there's too much going on and so when you have that barely there look it pretty much goes with absolutely anything and so getting right into my review of the three sandals that I personally own I'm gonna start off with the most popular one these are the Steve Madden I believe it's called the Camille it's clear and when I mean clear it's pretty much the fully clear slash translucent heel it looks a lot like a Cinderella heel and these are I believe a hundred and nine dollars and that is with tax which means it's a pretty affordable sandal and you definitely don't want to go really expensive with a very stylish heel. So when you are going with something that's really trendy and stylish, make sure not to spend a lot of money on it. And honestly, I find them really uncomfortable. The pros about these sandals are that they pretty much go with anything. You can wear these with ripped jean shorts and a t-shirt. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with a leather skirt. And you can also even wear it with an evening look. So I wore this and I'll throw a photo up at my girlfriend's rehearsal dinner and it was such a perfect heel. It went so elegantly with the dress. Like I said, I elongated my legs, made it look like I was wearing nothing, but they are, and I find them extremely uncomfortable. Now, I just went online and I noticed that a lot of people didn't really say that. There were some people that found it uncomfortable, some people that did not, but it's a 4.25 inch heel. And what I find uncomfortable is this strap right here. So there's something about the high arch and the fact that it has that like PVC plastic strap right here, and it just ends up really squishing and hurting my toes. I get a ton of blisters. So I'm not sure if this is just a me problem and then everyone problem, but I do find these heels uncomfortable. If I do wear them, I will probably wear them for no longer than maybe two or three hours. So I definitely won't wear them if I'm going somewhere that requires dancing or a lot of walking. But nonetheless, they are a beautiful heel. They are extremely popular. And by the way, before I get into the next sandals, so there is one pair that I do not like. I didn't mention this before I went into my review. I don't like the shoes that are fully closed. Your toes look squished, it doesn't look cute, even from like in photos or up close or from far away. And it also gets really hot and steamy. And I don't know if you've seen the photos. And then next, I'm gonna go into the first ones that I purchased. Forewarning, my shoes are destroyed. I'm so sorry, I know it's terrible how dirty these shoes are. That goes to show you that I've worn them so much. And I really tried cleaning it off, but it really wasn't coming off. So sorry if you think my shoes are super dirty, but I definitely got a lot of use out of these. And so these are the Shoots Josiana sandals. It's so funny because for the longest time I called this brand Shuts. I guess it's pronounced Shoots. And so these are Josiana sandals. I actually got these about a year and a half ago. So kind of when the whole transparent heel trend started. The only problem I have with these shoes is that the tire on the ankle part is really hard. Either I end up tying it way too tight and it's hard for me to walk or it's too loose and I look really funny when I'm walking. So I definitely wish that this is actually a strap and not a tie around the ankle. Kind of makes it look a lot more sexier than if you just had a traditional standard ankle wrap. But these are one of my favorite heels. I've worn them so many times, not just because 
they are nude, but also because I do find them comfortable. It's just a little bit weird when I walk, as I mentioned, because I feel like sometimes I'm either tying it way too tight or it's too loose. These are the heels that I've definitely worn the most. I think it's because I've also had it the longest, but I feel like they go the best with most of my outfit looks because of the fact that it kind of has like the nude lining right here, pretty much goes with everything. And it is a darker nude, so it goes better with my skin tone than the Steve Madden one because I am tanner. So obviously the darker nude looks better. And then because it kind of has like a suede type material, it's gonna be perfect to transition from summer into fall. And you can wear this with a leather skirt, leather pants. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Pretty much goes with everything. This isn't as dressy for an evening look. I would not find myself wearing this with an evening dress like I did with the Steve Madden heels. Now getting into the details of these heels, it is a four inch heel. And then as I mentioned, it kind of has like a suede lining and then it has a transparent strap right there tie around the ankle and it has these little silver studs which i think one of them fell off as you can see i've definitely worn this a lot and then the back i've worn down a lot as well and it's because of the nature of the material when you have a lighter material of course it's going to get dirty especially if people it looks like a lot of people were stepping on the back of my feet and these sandals actually come in multiple colors there's like a snakeskin material that's not real snakeskin it's just the snakeskin effect there's black there's black leather, there's a rainbow color, so there's so many different options. And then up next are my other shoots sandals. I just recently purchased these and I am obsessed with them. These are probably my new favorite transparent heel. Number one, because they are the most comfortable. They are so incredibly comfortable, mainly because it has a really open toe bed. So for someone like me that does have a wider foot, I do find them extremely comfortable. I've worn these about like eight or nine times Already, I even went on vacation and wore them, and I was walking on like pebbled ground, which I didn't expect to walk on pebbled ground, but it still was super comfortable, and then I love the fact that it is black. So I was wearing these as an evening shoe, and what I also love about these shoes that's different is the fact that it kind of has like a pointy toe. I didn't actually think I was gonna like that. When I first went to the store, I went for the white leather one. I already have a bunch of nudes, so I decided to go with the black. The only thing I would say about these sandals is this part, the PVC part, because it is so large, can get really dirty. So on the other shoes, the PVC part is like a super short strap, maybe like an inch or less. This one, it's it's pretty large. I would say it's like three inches or maybe even larger, and it can get really disgusting. This is actually me cleaning it. You will not notice in photos, but you will notice up close, so unless you plan on showing somebody your shoes and going super up close, I don't think they will see it. But I am obsessed with these shoes. I would say out of all three of them, these are my favorite shoes. The heel is four inches, just like the other shoots, and then these are 190, I believe. But these are my three, I would say, clear slash transparent heels. And if you like any of these heels, I will make sure to link them all below. I believe they're all still in stock. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like my review. And of course, please let me know if there's anything else that you guys wanna see. I hope this video finds you in the best of moods, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget to Check that box, subscribe below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.